Hey, cool. Next day. Did I miss the part where they tell ghost stories? I don't think so. Get moving! Get your asses up, everyone. Get up, get up. Huh? <sighs> I'm still sleepy. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Scoutmaster Yoshi! You're back. What's going on? What did you do yesterday, Scoutmaster Yoshi? <laughs> I was busy preparing a special surprise for you all. Everyone's counting on me. As your Scoutmaster, I vowed to bra... Uh, meow. I vowed to provide you all with endless amount of fun activities where you'll also learn plenty of important things. I don't remember what this part is. Isn't this fun? I am a leader that supports recreation and entertainment amongst all my campers. Okay. You'll never have a dull day with me around. And it's my job as a scoutmaster. SHUT UP! Did you keep it down? I'm trying to sleep here. <sighs> don't you have to be annoying somewhere else? <laughs> Grump in the morning, as always, Yuichi. As I was saying. I want you all to get changed into your uniforms in preparation for our exciting activity. No, because... I'll see all of you outside for our morning assembly, because uh, Keitaro and uh, Yoshi haven't had the talk yet. Let's get moving. <laughs> I'm not talking about the talk about the birds and the bees. You heard the Scoutmaster. Everyone, let's get dressed. Oh! I wonder what we'll be doing today. I am so excited! I'm really curious too, Hero. <laughs> Don't expect too much. I'm sure it'll be something lame again. Sure. Alright! Is everybody here? Looks like everyone's here. Follow me, campers! This way. Yippee! Scoutmaster Yoshi looks so excited. The surprise must be huge. I have an idea. I think I have an idea of what he's going to show us. Don't be stupid! Don't get your hopes up. Come on! Come on, Yuichi. Don't be such a killjoy so early in the morning. I think we need to go now. I think we need to hurry. We're getting left behind by everyone else. Let's go! I... let's follow them. Ha 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 Uh, honey, it's gonna rain. Ta-da. Isn't this exciting? Our very own obstacle course. Isn't this exciting? Yay! It wow, amazing. Wow! Oh wow, it's exactly like the ones from those game shows. Scoutmaster Yoshi? Yeah, it even has the wall from Ninja Warrior over there. Scoutmaster Yoshi, just how long did it take you to finish this? As a matter of fact... I've been working on this since the start of this year's summer. I was able to finish this up thanks to the extra help I got yesterday. As I was saying... I've arranged a series of activities for all of you to do today. This is going to be so much fun. First off, we'll be starting with track and field as scheduled, and then... LAME! This is probably going to be a mess just like last time. Hey, stop it! Yuichi, stop that. Scoutmaster Yoshi is doing his best for all of us. Come on! Can you see how much effort Scoutmaster Yoshi has put into all of us having his... us having an activity together? Whatever! I hate to burst your bubble, Mr. Perfect, but it's going to rain anyway. Hmm... The sky does look really gloomy. You can have fun in the rain. Are you sure? What? Are you sure it's not just because we're having cloudy weather today? Duh. None of you can tell it's gonna pour down just from the smell? Catch you later. I'm out of here. Yoichi! Come back here. Natsumi. Leave him be, Natsumi. A buddy shall never force another to do something against his will. I think a person in general shouldn't force somebody to do something against their will. Right. Very well, then. Now let's begin our activities. Nothing can possibly ruin this day. Uh, uh. Say what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, is this the bath scene? Yuichi was right. It was going to rain. What should I do? And it's pouring really hard. Hero, you should, um, uh, sacrifice... Sac you should sacrifice yourself to the rain gods. Oh, no. For Keitaro's sake, especially. We might catch a cold. That's all for today. We'll cancel today's activities for now. Everyone, please head back to the cabin in an orderly fashion. Scoutmaster Yoshi. Are you alright? Yes, of course. I'm fine, Natsumi. Please join the others back in the cabin. Alright, there's like a bath scene. That sucks! Oh man, I'm soaking wet. <sighs> Me too's. <sighs> Wow, it's really pouring outside. I don't know. Looks like a storm. 
Hmm, let's see. If that's the case, then it'll probably be raining for the whole day. <laughs> Hate to say I told you so, but I told you idiots so. Ugh, so annoying. You don't have to rub it in everyone's faces. Oh, I think he does. Actually... I actually impressed you, Ichi. Yeah! He knew it was going to rain just because of the snow in the air. I'm awesome! I really am awesome, aren't I? Wolf boy? Talk about animal instinct. Ha! Shut Torch up. Torchhead. Shut up, Torchhead. Um... What are we supposed to do now, Natsumi? I don't know. I still haven't received orders from Scoutmaster Yoshi. Scoutmaster Yoshi? Speaking of which, he looks quite disappointed. <laughs> it literally rained on his parade. Oh gosh, that's terrible. I feel bad for him. He's been working so hard on that obstacle course during the last few days. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry, Keitaro. I'm sure we'll get to have some fun with the obstacle course as soon as the weather gets better. <laughs> Hunter? Oh, Hunter, are you feeling alright? <laughs> I'm okay. My nose is just feeling runny. Oh! We should take a bath as soon as possible. We'll get sick if we let ourselves dry out here. Okay. You guys can go in first. Hmm? The bathroom is big enough to accommodate all of us, Kitaro. We can all take a bath at the same time. What? Y you mean like together? Of course. But we can't let you stay here with wet clothes on any longer. I'll catch a cold. Um... Huh? What's the matter? Afraid I'm gonna attack you? Seriously? Huh? You're gonna join us too? You're perfectly dry, Yoichi. SHUT UP! You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Besides, I haven't taken a bath in three days straight. That's enough! It's disgusting, Yoichi. I take at least two baths a day to maintain my hygiene. Isn't that kind of just a waste of water? Katero! Think of it like how we used to take a bath together, but this time with more people. Hero! It really doesn't help, Hero. Anyway. Well, we all need to go take a shower now. I've already brought out some towels. Okay. Censorship time. <sighs> Nothing like a hot bath in a cold day. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Thank goodness this place has a heater. <laughs> we usually open it during cold days like this. Summer weather can be quite unpredictable. Scoutmaster told me not to open it on a regular basis, though. Psst. Just between you and me, Torchhead. I always turn it on whenever I take a bath. I heard that, Yoichi. So that's why the camp electricity bill was way off the budget these past months. Psh. What are you gonna do about it? <sighs> Everyone's really taking a bath together. Yeah, Keitaro. That's literally what's going on. They really don't mind seeing each other naked. Hey! I just noticed. How come you're so full of muscles, Yuichi? Oh, it makes me wonder as well. I never see you work out or lift weights at all. Heh. <laughs> it's all natural. This is what you get if you keep moving around rather than staying in the cabin all day long doing lame and boring stuff. I wish I had a bigger body too. I don't think it would suit you, Hunter. You already look adorable in your current shape. Adorable? Huh! <laughs> I have muscles too! See? See? Me and Katero almost have the same build. How can they be so casual about this? Actually... Speaking of Katero, he's right over there. Katero? Oh, Katero, why are you just standing there? Uh... I, I, uh... Aww. He's shy. Katero! Yeah, come over here, Katero, wash your back. You're not shy with me, are you? Anyway... Say, Kitaro, we were just talking about who's got the best bot here. I'm awesome! Don't even bother asking, we all know I've got the best muscles around. Wolf boy? Shush, wolf boy, not everyone likes bulky bodies like yours. Fuck off. Yeah, that's right. That is true, everyone has different preferences. I... 
and hero, you are not part of that preference. I don't feel confident in this topic. What do you think about this? With this topic. What about you, Katara? What kind of body do you prefer? Uh, slim? No. Lean? No. Slender? No. Thick and muscular. Um... I think I like thick and muscular bodies. Well, why did I say that in front of everyone? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, everyone likes muscles. <sighs> Yeah. <sighs> I guess I can't be helped. Even I want to get a little bit more ripped. How about we... Don't touch my abs, Keitaro. What? I know you want to do it. Oh, come on. I know you want to do it. Uh... Didn't have to read that. Are you okay? Keitaro's all red. Are you all right, Keitaro? Am I? Are you? Yeah. Uh... I just can't still believe we're all taking a bath together. You don't have to be shy around us, Keitaro. You're like a brother to us now. Just take a look at Yoichi, for example. He's already shameless to show his thing in front of us. Hey, I can swing my dick wherever I want to. We're all guys here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, me too. I can do the helicopter too. Look, look. Uh... Blah, blah. <laughs> Why is yours so small, hero? Hey. It's a lot bigger than you think. It just hasn't woken up yet. <laughs> it's almost as small as Hunter's. But... But Natsumi's is longer than yours. That sucks! That's not fair, you guys are cheating. Isn't this exciting? See, Kitara, everyone's really casual about this. Here, let me show you. Let me show you mine too. <laughs> Katero? Oh! I think I'll go rinse in the shower now. <laughs> Maybe we went too far. <laughs> he looks so flustered. Come on! Let's go wash up too, I guess. It's not that I was embarrassed taking a shower with everyone, it's just that I could see everything from there. And it made me feel so weird. Okay, I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, there's a masturbation scene coming up, and uh, I can't show that for obvious reasons. <laughs> for some reason, when I was doing that, there was only one person on my mind. I don't know why, but I couldn't help but think about him that way. I better be Yoichi, for fuck's sake. Let me finish Yoichi's route. After I finished, quote-unquote, taking a bath, I headed straight to the mess hall, hoping that I could act like nothing happened. But alas, they all knew. Excuse Hello! Me. Hello, everyone. Oh! There you are, Kitaro. What took you so long? We were waiting for you. Ha! <laughs> I bet he was doing naughty stuff inside the shower. No way! No, no, I wasn't. I smell something fishy. Hmm, you've been acting weird this morning. Are you okay? Something on your mind, Kitaro? Actually... I, I was thinking about... Uh, food, the activities, my journal. Sleep? Yeah, that's right! I was thinking about getting more sleep. Yeah. Oh, don't even get me started. Hmm. I really don't get why we have to wake up so early just to see a sorry excuse for a camp activity. I see. No wonder Kitaro seems to be lacking energy this morning. For now, how about we start eating our lunch so Kitaro can get an, um, an energy boost. I was going to say extra boost. <laughs> we can all rest if we don't have any activities left for today. Phew, that was fucking close. For a second there, I thought I was a goner. It would be embarrassing if they found out about what I did back there. You don't have to tell <sighs> anybody anything you don't want to, Keitaro. You can kind of just tell them to fuck off. Shut up. Why do you care? Maybe you're the one that was jacking off in the shower, not me. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, I'm so full. Now I'm really feeling sleepy. Hero! You might get nightmares if you sleep right after you eat, okay? There's no scientific proof behind that, as far as I know. Rest your tummy for about one to two hours before taking a nap. No! No, Yuichi! Yuichi, I'm sorry. What's your name? Natsumi. No, the thing is, it's called the colored people nap. The, the thing is, it's called the colored people nap. It's where we sleep right after we've eaten so much and we're so full. We especially do it around Thanksgiving. I do that all the time. Nightmares don't scare me. Oh! Everyone, the Scoutmasters are coming. Attention! Scouts. Listen. Due to unforeseen weather conditions, we were forced to cancel our outdoor activities today for everyone's safety. <sighs> it's too bad we didn't get to use that course. We stayed up all night to get it done in time for today, you know. There, there. You too. I know what to do! But fear not, for we, your diligent scoutmasters, have decided to let you all have indoor activities instead. Isn't this fun? No. 
I have tons of indoor activities for you all to enjoy. Come on, let's turn those rounds upside down. <laughs> Who's up for arts and crafts? Oh my god! <laughs> this day could not get any worse. What? <sighs> you just had to say it, Yoichi. Oh dear! Oh no, a power outage? What? Did we forget to pay the bills again? How did that happen? No, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Hmm. Lightning probably hit one of the circuits outside. Do you mind checking it else? Else? Do you mind checking it out for us, Aiden? Sure thing. Aiden. Oh, Aiden. One more thing. Eh? Yes, Yoshi. Just tell me if you need anything. Be careful, all right? <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. Yoshi. What shall we do now, Yoshi? I don't know if I really can. All of my plans today are ruined. I can't even think straight anymore. Not that there's anything straight about this game to begin with. But <laughs> <sighs> maybe your dad was right. Maybe I'm no good at this job at all. Stop it! That's the spirit. <laughs> Give in to the fact that you might not be good at something. Come on, don't say that. The campers can hear you. It's not your fault the weather's so awful today. I have an idea. How about we just call it a day and rest up for now? I'm sure the storm won't last forever. What if it does, Yuri? What if it does? I see. I guess you're right. Attention! Okay, everyone, I'm sorry to say this, but we'll have to postpone all activities until the power comes back. Get moving! Please head back to your cabins for the time being. Now, for some reason, I really want to watch a horror movie. All right. Kind of more specific, you know, kind of more specifically, like Friday the 13th. <laughs> I'm assuming because it's supposed to take care take camp take place at a camp Alright, everyone let's go <sighs> am i having the worst luck or what cheer up come on cheer up big guy yeah <sighs> i'm so bored come on yuichi there are plenty of things we can do before we sleep or we could just sleep I really hate when the weather's like this. I've no choice but to be st I've I've no choice but to be stuck here in this stupid boring damp room. Actually, hmm, I like how the rain sounds. It's relaxing to me. <sighs> Too bad our activities got canceled again though. Hey, cheer up. Cheer up everyone. Since we've all still got some energy, we should do something interesting. Huh? Like what? Um... How about we tell spooky stories to each other? Yeah, you're right! Ooh, that's a good idea, Keitaro. Shh. Nothing can scare me. Hold on. Are you guys sure about this? I have an idea. Sounds fun. I know a couple of scary stories. I'll go first. Yeah! This is gonna be exciting. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Toshu. Why Toshu? Toshu was a young and carefree boy. He liked to play outside and play video games. Mm -hmm. Then one day, one dreadful day. Oh no. He went back home and his mother called his name. Toshu, Toshu. Chills ran down to his spine as he saw his mother holding a... Uh, Field report card! Uh, what? Oh my god, Natsumi, that was so lame! Hey, nothing scarier than failing a test which eventually leads you to an unemployed future. Oh, honey, have you seen, like, um, what are those people called again? The social media influencers who don't even, like, ooh. Yeah. Just thinking about it gives me the chills. I am disappointed in myself for even letting you speak. <laughs> Did you like it, Keitaro? Um, it was okay, I guess. Oh, my turn! My turn! I know this creepy story that will surely knock all your socks off. You better not tell us another story about a failed report card. I swear, this one's good. So, it goes like this. Yeah? One quiet night, in a camp just like this. 
Is this autoplay? Two best friends, Ichiru and Masaru, went out past their bedtime to check out an abandoned cabin down by the lake. It was rumored that many of the campers who once stayed there vanished mysteriously. Okay, don't the mind. two reached the front door, only to find out it was locked. Masaru suggested that it was a bad idea and insisted that they should just go back. Yes. But then, Ichiru found a cellar door in the backyard. Ichiru was so curious that he dragged Masaru down to that basement. It was cold and dark inside, and all they had was a dim flashlight to light up their path. As they slowly walked further, they suddenly heard a creaking sound. Ichiru pointed his flashlight towards the source of the sound, revealing a slightly open door just a few steps away from them. Masaru was shaking in fear as he begged Ichiru to turn back. Ichiru was still up for it, so he pushed that door completely open. Both of their skin turned pale, and their bodies became numb because of fear. Ichiru dropped his flashlight when he saw... The headless campers who were murdered by the Scoutmaster! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me one moment. All right, did he say that or ah, I got you all. Uh, I'm not scared. <laughs> I wasn't scared at all. Yoichi. You screamed like a little girl, Yoichi. What? Did not. Don't worry. It was just a story. None of it was real, right? <laughs> I, I'm sure it was just a made up. I'm sure it was just made up by Hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's as real as it gets, bitches. Speaking of which, there's a cabin beyond that lake nearby the campgrounds, right? So... You never know, Scoutmaster Yoshi might not want... Might not be who you think he is. Hero? Don't say that, Hero. Scoutmaster Yoshi is a dependable and honorable man. <sighs> I'm sure he won't slaughter us all. Oh no. I'm kind of scared of Scoutmaster Yoshi. What? Did anyone hear that? Okay, I know there's a choice coming up, so we're gonna save. Because I can never remember which choice is Yuichi's. Oh no! What was that? <laughs> Probably the murderer. And the scoutmaster's the wind. I didn't hear anything. Oh shit. It's either one of these two. Uh, this? No way! I didn't hear anything. There's no way all of that would be true. Um. Okay, so let me. No, 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 I want to load. Yes. What? Oh, no. The wind? N maybe. It's probably just the wind blowing on the door. Yeah, sure. That's right. You know, because of the storm or something. Yoichi. Are you scared, too? I'm not scared. What? Of course not. I've read about this before. I've actually read about a story similar to Heroes. I'm sure of it. And I can confirm that it was real. I read it on a newspaper a few years ago. What should we do? The whole camp was slaughtered by a scoutmaster. <laughs> was it Friday the 13th by chance? <laughs> hey, stop it! Hunter, this isn't really helping our situation. What? You can't be serious. I seriously just made it all up. W what? What was that? I hear footsteps. How big is this fucking cabin? I... I can smell someone too, but I can't tell who it is. 
Shiro? This isn't funny anymore. Drop the tricks. No, I'm not! It's not me, I swear. Can you stop that? Can someone go check it out? Mr. Perfect! You're in charge, right? Go check it out. Uh, hey! I'm not sure what... I'm not sure I want to. What? What's going on here? I heard screaming. Ah! Huh? What's that? Sir Goro! Daddy Goro. What happened? What's the matter with all of you? You all look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, I apologize. Daddy Goro, we were just telling scary stories and... Is that so? Scary stories, huh? And who's responsible for this? Uh, sir? It was my idea, sir. I'm, I mean, Daddy. Disappointing. You thought it was a great idea to tell those kinds of stories at this time of the night? You should be ashamed of yourself. What if the other scouts think that someone got hurt here? I'm sorry. I... it was all just for fun, Daddy. I'm really sorry. I don't know, I don't know why. I, I know I'm the only one that gets like an actual kick out of calling him Daddy Goro instead of like Sir Goro and stuff like that, but whatever. It's fucking funny to me. Promise we weren't doing anything bad, Daddy. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I, I guess I needed this for a pick-me-up. I don't know. We were just trying to have fun since we didn't have any activities today. Duh. Yeah, and it was better than measly arts and crafts, too. Well... Kitaro was just trying to have a great time with everyone. <laughs> Very well, then. I'm watching you. Just don't scream like that again. I don't want any more false alarms. And please, go to bed already. It's late. Sir! Yes, Daddy? <sighs> oh, it is nighttime. That takes care of that. Thank you so much! Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Don't worry, we got your back. That was close. Daddy Goro is really scary. Yeah, you're right. I know, right? He's nothing like his daughter. Hiro. Shh, Hiro, be quiet. Daddy Goro might hear you. I don't know. I don't know why he hasn't left Camp Buddy, though. Usually it just visits for a day and then leaves. Anyway. We should all, we should all go to sleep before he finds out we're still... Oh my god, I was just about to say we're still alive, but... <laughs> horror movies on the brain apparently <laughs> anyway we should all go to bed before he finds out we're still awake yep that's enough stories for one night anyway let's head to bed good night <laughs> Still alive. <laughs>